Hello folks, and welcome to Dot Hack Infection. So the first of the Dot Hack series, and I'm going to try to do the rest of them. All Dot Hack series. Um, after a long break, I'm finally back to hopefully do more of these. The college has been a little hectic to try to figure out how to do this stuff. Uh, being, having a social life is also a little bit difficult for having to do this stuff. Probably many of you that have social lives know that, but, yeah, and I'm gonna try to bring it back to GameAnyone.com. So, here we go. Der Mann des Schattens, auf der Suche nach dem Habedrache, ist noch nicht zurückgekommen. Der Herd der Finsternis grollt. Helba, Königin der Finsternis, stellt schließlich ein Heer auf. Alparon, König des Lichts, grüßt sie. Und sie treffen sich am Fuße des Regenbogens. Die verfluchte Welle muss gemeinsam bekämpft werden. Der See von Alba brodelt. Der große Baum des Lichts fällt. Alle Macht zerfällt zu Tropfen im Tempel von Arche Köln. Wie sind ohne Schatten, ihre Welt zerfällt zu nichts. Der Mann der Schattens auf der Suche nach dem argen Drachen kehrt niemals mehr zurück. And that was an excerpt from the Epitaph of Twilight, which, if you're a fan of the series, you know what the Epitaph of Twilight is. Um... You'd also know what ultimate. Okay, is. user registration is done. Now for a name. Yasuhiko's probably already there waiting for me. I'd better hurry. Registration process for the world is you need a name. I'm gonna go with uh, Zaki rather than the default character name, which is not Shugo. That's in the second series here. I can't believe I don't know this. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go with Zaki for uh, what my name is. Anyway, gonna go through mail and stuff like that. Um, most of the mail I won't voice act. Most of the mail I won't do unless it's important. From like Yasuhiko, it's down there. I'll go through them slowly so you can read them if you want to read them. If you don't, just wait a little bit or listen to the cool stylings of my voice. I know my voice is not very cool stylings. Anyway. 
as it's explaining there, those are servers. Those are uh, where you go to to get two different parts of the game. A server is not like most MMOs, where it's a place where you can only have your character. You can bring your characters between all the servers, and the servers are different. Um, Delta server, which we will start in, um, has the lowest level of stuff, while... I think it's... Raw server? I'm a little shaky on my, uh, Greek signs. It's the one that looks kind of like a Q. It's the highest level, which we won't get until, uh, the last game in the series. Which, for all of you that don't know much about Dot .hack, which is surprisingly more than I think, um, <clears throat> those would be cool to have, by the way. Um, uh, those of you that are familiar with the series know that this game is the first of four games in this first series. There are currently three series of games, one which hasn't come over to the states yet, if I'm correct. That would be Dot .hack link. But then there are also TV series, Dot .hack sign, which many are familiar with that was on Toonami or uh, Adult Swim for a long time. I didn't get to watch it very much, but it was on for a little bit. Um, dot hack epitaph of twilight dot hack uh roots i think there's a n newer one that i haven't seen yet um but this takes place kind of it's in, in its own universe it's not epitaph of twilight and it's not it, it's a little weird to think about um there is a book series as well, uh, for the Epitaph of Twilight and the n other stuff. The board I will put in a, in a bonus episode right after this. Um, so if you would like to read the boards, it'd be there. It just takes a very long time to get through. It's me, Orca, the Blade Master. Wow! You look so different from the real Yasuhiko. Nothing like the real you. Hey, in this game, I'm Orca. Regardless of what I am in reality, I'm pretty well known here. What? No, you look great. Anyway, take this. Member address is the flash mail address you can only access in the world. With flash mail, you can exchange messages with others in real time, as long as you are in the world. It's mostly used by newbies to contact other players to form a party. Try it out by inviting me to join your party. First, press the triangle button to open the menu. In the menu, Select party. Okay, I'm going to talk over Orca just a little bit here, because even though they have voice acting here, uh, you can still read what Orca is saying because it's like a text box. That's one thing that I really like about these games. Even though that it's a uh, supposed to be a an MMO, because it is that, because it's a game inside a game, they can break the fourth wall here incredibly hard, and it doesn't matter, because it's a game in a game. So the fact that he's saying press the X button, the triangle button, doesn't mean anything different. I mean, most of the time you would ignore that, the fact that, uh, games... Like, oh, they're just telling me the controls, so of course they have to say it. But in this, it's more like, I am playing a game in a game. So, the fact that they can tell me I can press a button means that you can 
try to get as many it's just ah uh, you'll have more fun it's perfect way. Anyway, what Orca was saying there was that you can't uh, always count on party members. And in this game, since it's not an actual MMO, you can only get story-based characters to join your party. Sometimes you can't always get people to join your party because they'll be quote-unquote offline. Um, this is the Chaos Gate, sort of transfer device that takes us from one place... Mostly through cutscenes, I will try to keep quiet. These beginning ones are pretty tutorial based, so you won't really need to know about it, other than that it's cool because it is a game and how they talk about it as if it is a game because it is a gaming in a game. It's just so awesome! Anyway, um, this. Area getting system they have here, I find really awesome. And in an MMO that uh, me and another person in the game company that we're trying to start, which um, we already have one game out that was for a competition called Gravity Buster. You can find it on my web page, which will soon be up. Um, uh, the game company is going to be called Octave 8 or Octave 8 Studio. Um, but we're going to try to do an MMO that kind of has this feel of dot .hack. Because there isn't an MMO that is like that. Which would be really great. And basically, I'm going to leave you now for uh, Orca to finish out here. So, until next time, folks. I'll see you soon. Uh, another episode, episode 2, will be coming out very shortly because I want to get covered past all this tutorial stuff to the actual story. So I'll see you soon. Take it away, Orca. But once we learn the effect of that keyword, we can combine it with other keywords effectively. For more details, check out the board on your own time. All right. Let's get going to the Delta Bursting Pastover Aqua Field. Select Warp.